future. <laughs> but I'll try. Let's, let's just say thank you to Reverend Sharpton again for being with us. So, this is a which side are you on moment. 90% of Florida's children attend Florida's public schools. Parents choose public schools in Florida. And like all this sea of red is saying, it's time to make those public schools the schools our children deserve. And the schools where our educators have the tools and respect they need for our kids to soar. So the question that this Brooklyn educator is asking all of you Floridians is simply this. Will the legislature stand with parents and educators and students of this state that want to fund public schools or will they walk away from us? And we are here today because we represent hope. We represent the sun. We represent faith. And we represent together the universe of public education where together our voices will not be silenced or denied. Fed has already said much of the facts that you know every day. Florida, teacher pay, 46th in the nation, fourth from the bottom. Florida represents or is in the bottom 10 states in funding of public education. I always thought Florida wanted to be in the top 10, not the bottom 10. Why did this happen? We've had 20 years of defunding public schools, 20 years of a petri dish of failed policies, where children have been denied the education they deserve and educators have been pushed out of our profession and out of the state. You can't tell us there's not a teacher shortage when 3,500 unfilled positions created 300,000 students without the teachers they need just right now. Yeah. And as the Reverend said, when half of the kids in America come to us with trauma, we need to have guidance counselors and nurses. We need to meet their needs not just hope to meet their needs. Over the last three decades, Tallahassee saw education as an experiment of the private marketplace, not a public trust. Defunding schools by budget cuts, and then on top of it, siphoning off the money that taxpayers had given to public schools for private charters or vouchers. Fixating on high stakes tests rather than fixating on children. Shaming and blaming teachers, micromanaging their work, denying them the freedom to teach. And if it wasn't so clear then, it is now. Pushing for bonuses instead of a living wage for our teachers and our employees so they can live in the state that they love. Now, you know as well as I do, this is Betsy DeVos's playbook. She did it in her home state of Michigan. She's now trying to do it in her adopted state of Florida. Are we going to let her? No! We must turn the page on this. We must turn the page.
engage on these failed experiments and make this the decade of public education and make this the decade of the children. Make public education.